family always said they seen me marrying a black guy. I know it's been a while since you guys seen us. My wife is not here because she's inside the store. This is just a video that I'm getting off my chest real quick. Um, I'm here to talk with you about what type of videos I want to put out with the vlogs. So there'll be vlogs on our channel. And with that, there'll be other videos such as me sitting here talking to you guys like this. My wife sitting there talking to you guys like this. Us having one-to-one -one conversation with you where we just basically express what our thoughts are at that moment or just what we're thinking or anything really just kind of like a word diary like a video diary where you just put an entry every now and then and just update people or just talk to someone or anyone about what's just on your mind and i got a lot on my mind the thing i want to talk about today really is just America. Not even America, the world. You guys are probably think, oh, this is another one of those spills where people go on talking about, oh, we need to change. We need to do this. We need to do that. Today, I want to talk about how society brainwashes you. And they do it bad. And you can say you've never been brainwashed, but I guarantee you, most of you have. I can admit, I've been brainwashed myself, and this is why I'm making this video, this is why I'm coming to you guys and just saying it straightforward and just letting you guys know, because I don't know how else to say it, and I don't know how else to let you guys know or let anyone know. Growing up, I didn't live the best life. My mother give, gave us as much as she could. Believe me, she did. But we grew up, as you guys would call, poorly. Um, in more ghetto areas, less suburbanized areas, projects, homes like that. And I always grew up around ghetto people. They're very friendly people. You, Everyone just puts a brand on everyone and labels everyone as everything. But people are people and you need to stop labeling everyone. No labels. That's what we need to live by is no labels. So... Anyways, with ghettos, uh, depending on which areas you live in, that's how it's categorized as ethnicity. And so for us, we were always around the African Americans. And um, I have nothing against them. I had, throughout my entire life, many friends that were black. Um, I have family that's black, African American, sorry if I offend you. But. And they're not light-skinned, they're, they're dark-skinned too, they're normal, they're, and that's my family, that's literally my blood family, and so. America makes you scared of them. And it's sad. No matter who you are, you can be African-American yourself and still scared of your own kind. And the reason I'm saying this is because, like I said, growing up I was always around them and then somewhere through middle school and high school I just disattached myself and I feel stupid, I feel ignorant, just dumb. I found myself not too long ago, about a year ago, talking to myself about this. And I just apologized, I, and that's why I want to do this, because I want to sincerely apologize to all of them, no matter if you know me, if you do know me, or anything. I'm just, I'm sincerely sorry if I ever made you feel uncomfortable or unwanted or anything like that. I apologize, because that's not me. That's really not me. Everybody categorizes 
African Americans as people who rob you, beat you up, stuff like that. Then they categorize Mexicans and Hispanics as these people who steal your identity, steal your jobs, and take all this stuff from you, and rape your women and stuff like that and then they have white people who are constantly just racist towards everyone else they say and all this stuff but it's like are you actually looking at yourself are you seeing what you're doing to make them that way no because you're being selfish 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 my own family always said they seen me marrying a black guy what? What are you talking about? I used to have a crush on Natalie Usher. Oh, why Usher? I'm like, what the hell? Natalie, he's still fine. My point is, they seen that and I ended up turning hateful towards it. I ended up rebelling against it and just creating this voice in my head that told me never do that because they said you were going to do that. Anytime something happened, I'd always do that. I've always rebelled against anything someone said I was going to do. If they said, oh, you're going to lose weight and you're going to look nice, I'd be like, okay, so now pig out. Make sure you gain a couple pounds. Don't, don't do what they say because I don't like doing what people tell me to do. I just, I guess you can say it's because I didn't have a father growing up. I don't know, but I only let my mama boss me around, and even now, she barely gets to get a put, gets to put a word in. So, yeah, you could get in, babe. I opened it. I was pushing the wrong one. Sorry. Um, well, is this a break? Just this. This is for you. Here you go. It's a mini long cotton candy coat. You don't even like cotton candy. I know, but you do. <laughs> I was sitting here. Sorry, guys. My hair looks all like messed oh. up now. <laughs> I was talking to them about how my family always said I was gonna marry a black guy and all that stuff. What the? You got me. <laughs> That's not what I was saying, but I was talking to them about how society brainwashes you to be afraid of people when you shouldn't be. You should just accept everyone. No matter what they done, people change. People always change. You change every day. I didn't used to like onions and now I love them. I didn't used to like bell peppers and now I love them. Didn't used to want to lose weight. Now every day I'm busting my ass to try and lose weight. Didn't want to show my face to the world. Now look, I'm trying to show my face to the world. You gotta step out your comfort zone in order to grow. And that's what I'm trying to teach my wife too. Yeah. You guys, I'm trying to get these fucking Girl Scout cookies. Literally. She wants Girl Scout cookies. They're supposed to be happy for her eight, but there's four to 14. <laughs> It's 4.14 and they're not here, so she's upset. Um, so I want to make me a smothered burrito. I guess you think that's what I'm going to do. That. But anyways, guys, that's all I really wanted to talk to you about. You make me llama. I'm going to name you Fernanda. <laughs> <laughs> now you need a door. And then, I hope you guys heard what I said. I hope you guys take it into consideration for yourself. Um, don't be such a hateful person to the world and because when you are the hate that you spread you just make other people want to give that to you. so spread love because people need it I wish I could call them bye guys <laughs>